Since emerging in 2002, the Boko Haram Islamist insurgency in Nigeria and bordering areas has developed into one of the world's most brutal conflicts. At least 27,000 people have been killed and some 2 million displaced. Self-educated preacher Muhammad Yusuf founded the group in northeastern Borno State, calling Muslims to reject the state and regard Western science and modern literature as apostasy. The conflict is concentrated in the northeast. Nigeria's population is split evenly between Christians, mostly in the south, and Muslims in the north. After Yusuf's death during a 2009 uprising that killed some 700 people, fiery preacher Abu Bakr Sheko emerged as a more extreme leader. Fighters rampaged through towns and villages, seizing territory to create a new caliphate, slaughtering people as they did so. Initially known as the Nigerian Taliban, the group later acquired the name Boko Haram, Western education is a sin. In 2014, the group kidnapped 219 female students from their boarding school in Chibok. The fate of many of the girls is unknown. In 2015, Boko Haram declared allegiance to the Islamic State group. The same year, a multinational force of troops from Nigeria, Niger, Chad and Cameroon tried to defeat the group as it began increasing cross-border attacks. Good luck Jonathan, president from 2010 to 2015 and from Nigeria's south, was accused by critics of doing little until his re-election was in doubt. His successor, Mohamedou Buhari, has cooperated more with neighbouring countries, but his claim in 2015 that Nigeria had won a technical victory proved premature. Boko Haram split into two main factions in 2016, one with Sheko in charge, the other headed by Mohamed Yusuf's son, Abu Musab al-Banawi. Both have pledged allegiance to the Islamic State group, but IS has backed Banawi. The circumstances that gave rise to Boko Haram persist in Nigeria. Widespread corruption, poverty, underdevelopment and the gap between North and South.